Anna. My name is Sandy Tillman. My name is Gordon McKenzie. My name is Bradley McPhee Jr. and I've enjoyed the summer camp. Wow, feel so good when I wake up. Just you and I, you and I. Now, I want this more than forever. Let's rule the night, rule the night. I know what I'm living for, and there is nothing better. So I'ma give him my all. Your love is what I treasure. I know what I'm living for, and there is nothing better. So I'ma give him my all. Got me saying like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dancing in the city lights, watch the city come alive. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dancing in the city lights, watch the city come alive. Or use it my way. I will not use any drugs. I will not use any drugs. I will refuse if anyone offers it to me. I will refuse if anyone offers it to me. I will not drink alcohol. I will not drink alcohol. Bear wine coolers. Bear wine coolers. I will refuse it if anyone offers it to me. I will refuse it. And you'll be able to positively influence other young people. So I am very, I was very pleased to partner the DJ Councilor and his team with this program. And he's posting things on Facebook, and people are wowing about it because it's an unusual program, and um, it's it's touching other aspects of who we are during the summer. So I want to congratulate you, man. Mr. Rowe, DJ Councilor, and his entire team to encourage you to continue to feed into the spirits of our young people so we can really get the best there is out of them. Listen, this is the house. This is the best house in the world. Who believes that? Hello, my name is Sandy Tolme, and I'm 10 years old, and I love summer camp. I learned about um, tennis, being not not to lie, um, being honest. Learn about learn about God. Hi everyone, my name is Bradley McPhee Jr. and we've had a wonderful time here at Summer Camp. We got to do a variety of sports and other interesting things such as media, tennis, basketball, karate, singing, etc. Well, just today we've recorded a music video and hopefully it will go viral. My name is God, I'm a Gen Z. It was okay. Playing basketball, having fun, drinking water, everyone. Playing, excited, DJ cracks and jokes, every good, every good of all the fun. Hello, my name is Triana and I like tennis and karate. I am a green belt in karate and I'm going on purple belt and I'm just a beginner in tennis and when I grow up I want to be a tennis star. Um, um, it is good, great. These past few days, I learned many things, and I enjoyed it. I learned how to make the right choices, and we had like a little drama, how to stop crime, and I learned something from that. Anyhow, we've also done quite a number of media, media things, such as recording, why, just the other day we did an interview with representatives from the Legacy Association and a gospel artist. And we've had several gospel artists come and they've shared their music and we've danced to it and sing to it. We've also learned the importance of being a Christian and loving God. We've also learned how to serve God, how to pray. 
on how those things will help us in our daily lives. In addition to this, we've also learned how to keep our community safe, because in the current state of our country, we are not doing too well. Crime is on the rise, and corruption is also on, is increasing as well. What's up, man? This is your boy, DJ Counselor. And yes, that's not crop. Apparently, it's not getting old, all right? But let's just want to talk about the DJ Counselor Summer Camp in this year. We called it the Angliston Sports and Community Camp. It happened right here at our studios down here at Kingdom Dub Entertainment. It was just awesome. We had a tremendous amount of kids that came down. We had about 75 when we, when we launched, and it's been going successfully, man. Um, we was able to see some of the kids in action when it comes to karate, some learn the game of tennis. I'm a very good in basketball. And, you know, we had one or two of them that did some recordings and, of course, interviewing, uh, did a little TV show set. And so definitely uh, we want to say thanks, thanks to Minister Glennis Hannah Martin that are definitely partnered and made sure the camp uh, was, a was a success. I was definitely surprised to have a pop in and just talk to the children, you know, not just as a representative of the area, or not just as a politician, but as a, as, a, as a concerned citizen. And it's important that we continue to keep programs like this. And it's not just a traditional summer program where kids come and just um, sing songs and they just do coloring and so forth. It's a sports and media camp. And so they had the opportunity to, to you know, take part in what we do in media as in music production, video production, a little bit of acting. We also did do some singing, and so you're going to see some clips with the kids in action also on the sports, um, doing tennis and basketball. And definitely this is something, like I, say, like, like I said before, I want to continue here in the Anglican community. I want to thank all the parents for trusting us. And um, looking forward, man, to seeing what's going to come out of this program as, as kids continue to develop in the different disciplines, as especially tennis, uh, basketball, and karate and so forth. And so um, with karate now being in the Olympics in the next four years, I'm excited to see what's going to be coming out of the Bahamas. And so, um, you know, when it comes to having programs like this, and one of the incidents that we found is actually driving to one of our, our camp um, sports area, and one of the kids started to talk about how, how, you know, what you do when someone splash you, you know, if you walk on the side of the road, and basically he talked about throwing a rock in the back glass of a car. I engaged the young man and said, but what happens if a toddler or a baby is sitting in the car seat and the glass shatters and falls in the baby's eyes? Baby's blind forever. And what about if you end up killing somebody, you know, with something like that, just splashing you with water? And yes, it was wrong, they splashed you, but rendering evil for evil is definitely something, you know, we have to find ourselves talking to our youth and thinking about consequences. A lot of our young men and women today in our communities, in our countries, you would think that they, they think about consequences whenever they decide to, to which, you would, which you would say, render evil for evil, and, and they don't. And so engaging the young man, uh, it became a discussion inside the bus and we started talking about the consequences of, of, of you, you know, committing that type of act. You know, it's a crime. You can find yourself in jail. You know, you can also, you can always buy a, a, a car glass back, but you can never replace, you know, certain organs in your body, life, and the list goes on and on. And so sometimes, you know, a lot of persons don't mention it a lot, but a lot of our parents are not, are not, are not parents to this generation. And this is what we're seeing. We're seeing a spin cycle where you have children growing up in homes and communities and who have never been properly parented. And so parenting is a full-time job. It takes a lot of responsibility. And first and foremost, you first have to know what it is to be a parent so that you can parent. <clears throat> and so when, when you have parents who are not, who, have, who, who themselves have not been trained, who have not been mentored on how to be good parents, we end up having children who hate society, who hate, their, who hate themselves, these are the ones we find that uh, tend to be terrorists in our Bahama land. It's going to take a community, it's going to take all of us as citizens to come together and to save our country. And how do we do that? By simply focusing on the next generation. We need to get into these lives. We need to be mentors. We need to go beyond just, you know, doing South South and doing youth meetings. But we got to find ways of engaging these children to think about their future, their country. God bless. Lights, watch the city come alive hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dancing in the city lights Watch the city come alive It's how we move it, move it It's how we move it, move it It's how we move it, move it, move it, move it. This is how we break it down This is how we break it down Break it down, break it down What's up? 
Let's go. We be oh so crazy, go so loco in this thing. Holla 116 till we black out. Have the whole city praise when the track drive. If she ever start tripping, she gon' get out. Thank God that I'm not where I was. I was full of myself. Can't let's for anyone, anyone, anyone else. Like Versace, Versace, man, living that garbage that once was a part of me. Now I got treasures in heaven, there's nothing compared to the God of the universe. I am the light of my city, I am the light of my city Using my talents to show off his mercy Shine in the dark, so I hope that you see 